In this tutorial, we'll show you some of the uses for the split stair tool. We're going to create a stair by wrapping it around this existing wall. We select the stair tool, use the CT stair, and use the rotated diagonal geometry method. Now we draw each of the stair pieces. You can see that the stairs automatically form winders where they meet at an angle, but the winders are applied to the entire length of the flights. This is where the split stair tool comes in handy. We select the two main flights, select the split stair menu item, and draw a line where we'd like to split the stairs. You can see that the stairs are now straight up until the split. Let's see how this looks in 3D. We can also use this to create a U-shaped landing by selecting the three winders and dragging them into landings. To adjust the position of the split, we select the stairs to either side and then adjust the split positions using the dynamic hotspots. Let's have a look at this in 3D. The split stair tool can also be used to create a landing in a very long flight of stairs. We will just draw a very long flight of stairs off to the side. We select the stair, then select the split stair tool and draw our line to split the stair. We do this again to create another split, then we can change the central portion into a landing. 